Hello, sports fans and football fans. I got a new edition this week of Mismatch Monday, and this week it's going to be using Stratomatic football from the 2022 season, and it's going to be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Chicago Bears. Now, I guess what we should do, well, we're just going to get into the game. We'll look at the standings afterwards. Chicago is doing... I think roughly about what they would have been doing at this point. They have two wins. I think we're like two and five uh, coming into this game, which is about how they were. Although I think they won against a team that they uh, um, actually lost against. One of those wins was against, I think, against the Vikings. And they didn't actually beat the Vikings. So... So I think there, but there was a, maybe another game in there that they actually won that they lost in this replay. So I think they're doing roughly about what they were doing, two and five. But anyway, we will launch the game and get into this one against the, um, so let's go up here to reports. Um, uh, or view and, um. Yeah. We'll do the play so far today. I'm not going to do the other one, the play percentage. I I have done that in the past, but we're not going to... We aren't going to do that. Um, but we will do the, the plays so far today right over here. Um, and we are kicking off to Dallas. So this is us. We're taking on Dallas. Dallas, as you will remember, won 12 games last year, and we only won three in real life. So this is why this is my choice for Mismatch Monday, because as Dave Gardner said, why not make Mismatch Monday other sports rather than just football? And we were just about due, I think, for a... um, for a, uh, uh, you know, a Chicago Bears football. So anyway, here is the uh, Dallas offense that's going, that our defense is going to face to start the game. You've got uh, C.D. Lamb at flanker. Tight end, Jake Ferguson. Right tackle, Terrence Steele. Right guard, Zach Martin. Center is Tyler Biadat. By Biadas, badass. I don't. <laughs> left guard is Connor McGovern. Left tackle is Tyler Smith. You got the second tight end out here is Dalton Schultz, and you got split end Nolan Brown. Noah Noah Brown at quarterback. Of course, I expect, and it is Dak Prescott who passed for a sixty six percent point two percent completion percentage last year. And um, a uh, only a 3.8 interception percentage. And he'll have Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. Our d- starting defense will be left end Travis Gibson. Travis Gibson. Uh, left tackle Justin Jones. Right tackle Armand Watts. Right end D- Dominique Robinson. Left linebacker is Nicholas Morrow. Middle linebacker is Jack Sanborn. The uh, right linebacker is Joe Thomas. Strong safety is uh, Jaquan Brisker. The uh, left cornerback is Kyler Gordon. Right cornerback is Jalen Johnson. And the free safety is Eddie Jackson. So we are going to go out here. We're gonna. I'm gonna start with the balanced defense. I always do start that, and then we'll see what they what they decide to do. They're gonna run up the middle with Elliott, and he's gonna get a lot of yards. He gets 11 yards on that first uh, down play. So, um, you know what? I'm gonna look for the pass on second down, even though they had a very good run. Yep, there they are. They're passing with Dak. With Dak, they are going to pass a lot. I mean, you know they're going to pass. That's just a known thing. They're going to do that. Even though they should be running more, probably. Now I'm going to look for the run. 
on second and ten. And they do run, and we do stop it quickly. He only gets a yeah, yeah, one yard. So they got a third and nine coming up. Dallas with a third and nine from the Dallas 41, and I am going to look for the pass big time. And it is Dak back. Dak is back, and it looks like it's incomplete, and Dallas will have to punt to us, and I expect them to do so. So we will set up for a punt return. No need for a punt block. They've got good field position to do this punt. So um, We are going to try to run with it. And it gets us up to the 14, it looks like. So we have a first and 10 at our own 14. I am going to go off tackle with Montgomery. And he gets some good yards on first down. Nice. Five yard gain for him. Um, I'm going to go with a flat pass to... Let's go flat pass to Montgomery. There is a penalty on the play, but it's a first down play, so hopefully it's on the defense. Um, let's see. If I accept the penalty, it's my ball um, on the Chicago 24, first and 10. If I decline it, it's my ball in the 25, so we're going to take the, we're going to decline the penalty. Okay, so we're going to go off tackle again with Montgomery. Montgomery getting a lot of work here early, and he gets five or six right there. Five. So we got a second and five. Just got to keep it manageable like this. That's all we got to do. Um, I'm going to go draw play with Fields. Oh, he got hit immediately. Nothing there for him. All right, so now we got a third and six. I think you got to go at least a flat pass to the split end St. Brown. And that's going to be a first down. We keep the chains moving here against the heavily favored Dallas Cowboys. Now, hopefully this is like the real-life Cowboys, because the real-life Cowboys have a tendency to lose games that they should win. Like that they should win easily. We're going to try to uncork one, go long to the split end here. Something that Dallas probably wouldn't expect us to do. And it's incomplete. How did I know? All right, so let's go. I'm going to go end run with Fields. This doesn't seem like it's going to be a winning uh, drive here. No, he got sacked trying to run. Come on. All right, uh, you know what? I'm just going to do a draw play with Fields because I think our only chance of getting runs is uh, is get, getting yards. All right, well, he got yards, but he didn't get the first down. But anyway, we uh, have a little better position to punt from, so I am going to punt. And the punt is on its way. And they just uh, fair catch it at the 15-yard line. So good field position for our defense. Not so good for his offense. I'm going to look for the run. And he does run. But we really can't seem to stop him very quickly there. 
he got five yards even though we were looking for the run. I think we're going to, I'm going to go run again. I think he's going to run it again. No, he's going to pass. And he gets some serious yards on that too. Nice 15 yard pickup for him right there. I'm going to go back to looking for the run again. And he does run. And we're going to get Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. So that's going to be a loss of a yard there for them. Now I'm going to look for the pass. And, oh, we're offsides. God, we're offsides. So now he's got a second and six from his 39. I'm going to look for the pass again. And he is, it looks like he's going to pass. And he does, and it's a big-time pass for some big-time yards. A lot of yards after the catch on that one. A lot of yak. 23-yard gain for them. So we got 6.49 left in the first quarter. It's still 0-0, but the Dallas Cowboys are moving. They have a first and 10 at our 38. I'm going to look for the run. And there is a penalty. Hopefully it's on. Well, no, we stopped him quickly. Well, hopefully it's on them, because if it's on us, that ain't going to matter. Um, if I accept the penalty, it's Dallas Ball in the 48. If I decline it, it's Dallas Ball in the 37, second and nine to go. You know what? I'm going to accept it. So now I'm going to put myself in pass defense. Because you got Dak, you're going to pass. Now he's out on his own on the run, and we don't stop him very quickly. He gets five or six on that. Make it seven. So seven-yard gain by Dak Prescott running the ball. And they have a second and 13. I'm still going to look for the pass. And he runs it right up the middle, but he only gets about two yards there. Three. Three yards. And he's doing better than it looks to me like he's doing. But anyway, they have a third and ten now at our 38. Got to look for the pass. Still got to look for the pass here. And we are looking for the pass. Let's see if we can stop it. And we're going to intercept it, and I am going to try to run it back. All right, well, it doesn't. we don't get any yards on the run back, but we did intercept Dak Prescott. Big time stop right there for our defense. And there is 425 left in the first quarter. I am going to go short, medium pass. Let's go to the flanker, Mooney. I think he was probably looking for the run. And we got a first down out of that. And so we got, we're moving the ball out of our territory quickly here. With a, uh, with a 15 yard pass right off the bat. I'm going to go looking pass to the tight end, Komet. We're going to pass it to Komet, and he does get some yards, right? Yeah, three yards. <clears throat> so, second and seven at the Chicago 40. Let's go off tackle with Herbert. He gets some good yards. I don't think they were expecting that. Five-yard gain there. So we're going to have a third and two coming up. Third and two for us at the Chicago 45. I'm going to go line buck with Montgomery. And we're playing for uh, four downs here. And it didn't, we didn't need to go to four downs because Montgomery got the first down. So we're moving the ball. I'm pretty impressed here. We're moving the ball very well. Uh, I'm going to go line buck with Herbert. Oh, he got stopped quickly. Zero yard gain. Second and ten for us. 
Second and 10 for us at the Chicago 49. Let's go short to the second wide receiver, Pringle. And he catches it for a first down. This Dallas defense. I mean, they held us the first time, but we did move the ball, and we're moving the ball again. So um, let's go draw play with Fields this time and see if he can get some yards out of it. And he does get a few yards. So we got um, we got four yards out of that run by Fields. I'm going to go end run with Herbert. Oh, uh, there's a uh, flag. Hopefully it's on them. He only got, he got minus one yard. It is on them, though, so I'm going to definitely accept the penalty. So we've got a first and 10 at the Dallas 22. If he could just throw this ball into the end zone. I'm going to go short to Mooney on this. Cuz I don't even want to mess around here. Let's get the let's get the points. Yeah, first down and a touchdown Chicago. So, we're going to kick the extra point. And all of a sudden, it's seven nothing us with uh, fourteen forty or so left in the uh, fourteen forty one left in the first half. Seven nothing Chicago, and we're kicking to Dallas. So we've stopped them on downs, and we've intercepted Dak, and I think we may have. No, I think that's what we they I think they've had two possessions. We've stopped them on downs and had an interception. I'm going to go with the pass because this offense, the more we the the further ahead we get and the worse it gets for Dallas, just like in real life, what they should be doing is passing. So, they got 10 yards there even though we were looking for it. So, they've got a first and 10. I'm going to look for the pass again. They run it with Elliott, and of course he's going to get a ton of yards on that. Or wait, no, Malik Davis took the ball and got a 20-yard run. Wow. So Davis has one rush today for, for 20 yards. I'm going to still look for the pass. Uh, okay, we stopped him pretty quickly there. Yeah, this was uh, Malik Davis again, but this time he got three yards. So he, ha they have a second and seven. I am going. I'm going to go balanced on this one. Second and seven. Let's go balanced. And he is passing. Dak is looking for a receiver. And we, it probably is a reception, but we get him right there where he catches the ball for four yards. So they're going to have a third and three. I am going to look for the run. If they want to pass, they can pass. But And we didn't stop them. We were looking for the run, and we didn't stop them. And that was Tony Pollard. And as you can see over here, Pollard has one run today for 13 yards. It seems like their first attempt for these running backs, they always do pretty well. So he's moving. He's moving the ball. We do stop him there, but they get five or six on that at least. Yeah, five yards. So now Dallas has a second and five at our 20. I'm going to look for the run. And he does run, and we're going to get him in the backfield. Nice play by the defense. They lose five yards there, so that's going to bring up a third and ten. They have a third and ten at our twenty-five. I'm definitely looking pass, and they run it, and we can't stop them. Come on! All right, Tony Pollard takes the ball. He rambles for twenty-one yards. 
1106 left in the half. Or 1030. 1030 left in the half. I'm going to go. I'm going to look run. Um, Dak is back. And he's going to pass to a wide open receiver. And uh, that is Dalton Schultz, the tight end, making the touchdown reception. And I'm just going to put in kick defense. I don't know what the difference between kick defense and kick block is. But they're going to tie the game here 7-7. Still, we're playing a better game against Dallas than I would have expected we would. So they're kicking off with 10-13 left in the half. 7-7 game here. And we are returning it. Didn't really have much of a choice, I suppose. But it's a good return. We get it out to the 34-yard line. So we have a first and 10, or no, at the 29. We have a first and 10 at our 29-yard line. Um... I'm going to go off tackle with Evans. Oh, he's going to get stopped way in the backfield. Second and 11. Let's go short pass to the split end. And that's going to be incomplete. So we got no choice here. We've got a third and 11. We got to go short again. Short pass to St. Brown. No, short pass to Claypool. Let's go short to Claypool. Oh, he got sacked. Are you kidding me? The way he can run. So today he's got six rushes for eight, or six of eight for 64 yards and one touchdown passing. All right, we got a punt. All right, this might be where it starts to fall apart. I don't know. 8.23 left in the half. And uh, we're just going to be allowed to down it right at the 20. I'm going to look for the pass. And they do do a quick pass, and we stop them right there. Two-yard pickup. I'm going to look for the pass again. And they run it, but they run it right up the middle, and uh, we stop them pretty quickly after zero yard. A zero-yard pickup right into the line of scrimmage. So they're going to have a third and eight. And definitely looking for the pass here. And they catch it. They do pass and they do make the reception. For 13 yards. Well, we didn't have a good defense. We definitely didn't. Not after they neutered it. So, uh, let's see. They picked up, uh, what did they get there? Five yards. So Dallas has a second and five at the 40, at their 40. I'm going to go balanced. They're passing, and they make it a completion for a first down. And nine yards on that. So they got a first and ten at almost midfield. I'm gonna go safety blitz. Let's just we gotta try to do something. No, any well, it didn't, wasn't too bad. We stopped him after two yards. I'm gonna look for the pass. And they're uh, running the ball, and we, well, we stop them before the first down, but they're only a yard away. They got seven of the eight yards that they needed right there. So now Dallas has a third and one at the Chicago 42. I'm looking run. They can pass if they want, and they did run it, and they did get the first down. 
and Ezekiel Elliott was the guy that did it. He got three yards. Of course, Ezekiel Elliott now on the Patriots in real life. We're going to look for the run. I mean, all right, there's a penalty flag. Hopefully it's on Dallas, but I don't think it is because they're letting him play. Oh no, it was on it was on them. I'm going to accept the penalty. So now they got a first and 20 back at almost midfield. I'm going to look for the pass. And they run it and but we get them quickly. 3 yard gain. And I'm going to look for, you know what, I'm going to look for the run here. Probably not a great idea. Well, there was a penalty. We got them quickly. Hopefully the penalty is on them. They only got, they got minus one yard. They lost a yard on that. But the penalty was, um, well, they got a second and 17 at the 46. I'm going to look for the pass. And they do pass, and because the, the half is running down, they did that stupid, like, I'm going to pass to the sidelines out of bounds thing. They got six yards on that, though. And um, let's see. They got a third and 11 at our 40. Not really. They're not really in field goal range yet, so I am going to... Look for the pass. And it's intercepted again. We picked off Dak for the second time, and I'm going to try to gain some yards. And it only gets us back to the 15. But we picked off Dak for the second time today. And that was key. That was huge. I don't even really care if we go into the half um, tied. I'm going to do a flat pass to commit. And there is a penalty on the play. Looks like he caught the pass, though, for five yards. Let's see if there is a penalty, though, on us. No, it's on them. So um, accept the penalty, and it's my ball on the 20. Decline the penalty, and it's my ball on the 20. Except up here, if I accept the penalty, it's first and 10. So we've got a first and 10 at the 20. I am going to go... Off tackle with Montgomery. And he's going to get some good yards. See, Dallas thinks we're going to try to pass and try to get those yard, the you know, some massive yards and and try to score before the half, but really I'm just playing the game of keep the ball away from them. Uh, and then go into halftime, and we're the ones that get the uh, the halftime kickoff. We'll receive the halftime kickoff, their second half kickoff. So, that's an incomplete pass right there. We have a third and two. A minute 15 left at our 28. I'm going to go line buck with Montgomery. Ah, he was stopped. You know what? Should I should I risk it here? Should I risk everything right here? We got no yards. I don't think I'm going to do that. There's a minute seven left. I'm going to punt. We're going to hope that this is a good punt and that we nail Dallas as deep as we can hope to nail them down. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. They're at the they're going to be at the, like the 25, 24 or 25. First and 10 at their 24, and I'm going to look for the pass. Cuz I think he's going to try to score before the half, which he really, let's face it, should try to do. I mean, they're heavily favored and they're in a 7-7 death match with us right now. Um, Prescott is 11 of 15 today for 98 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions. I'm going to look for the run. I'm, you know, even though he really should probably be passing, I'm going to look for the run. 
and he does run. And uh, we're still not going to be able to get him until he gets massive yards. But they're going to have to use their last time out, I think. Um, I'm going to look for the pass now. They've got a first and ten at their 46. No, they run the ball. Oh, my God, they run the ball and they get a ton of yards off of it. Oh, my God. That was the terrible call by me, I guess. But, I mean, who expects them to run? All right. So they got a first and 10 at our 23. I'm going to look for the pass. And it's I think it's incomplete. So they've got a second and ten at the 23. I'm going to look for the pass. And they are going to try to pass. If we could pick him off again, that would be great. But no, they score a touchdown, and they go up by a touchdown right before the half. My God. Well, that plan didn't really work. My plan didn't work that well. I'm going to go kick block here. And they do make the kick. As time is winding down here in the first half. And they kick off. So it's 14-7 Dallas. Still a, a better game than you would have expected we would put up by halftime. Yeah, we're just going to go line buck with Montgomery. And he gets some nice yards. Montgomery, in fact, on the day has six rushes for 29 yards, no touchdowns, and no fumbles. And that is going to be it for the half. <coughs> And Dallas is kicking off to us, as I said would happen. We are starting the third quarter. I'll look at the box score to this point in the game as soon as we go on offense. And, whoa, we got a nice return, though. Wow. A crazy nice return. In fact, uh, he's returned uh, three kickoffs. Um... One return, well, one, Meher has, uh, oh, okay, Jones Jr., has, that was his first return today for 33 yards. But let's go to um, reports, box score. Let's take a look at the box score so far. Justin Fields is 6 of 9 passing for 64 yards and a touchdown. And Dak Prescott is 12 of 17 for 121 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. Montgomery has rushed six times for 29 yards. Fields has rushed four times for three yards. Khalil Herbert has rushed three times for four yards. For them, Ezekiel Elliott has rushed 11 times for 39 yards. Tony Pollard's rushed four times for 80 yards. And Malik Davis has rushed three times for 18 yards. And I'll just let you look at the receiving stats. I don't really like going over receiving stats. I mean, the quarterbacks are passing for what they're passing for, and it's being distributed to whatever receivers it's being distributed to. So, all right, let's, uh, let's try a flat pass to commit to start it off here. And that's going to be incomplete. The inaccuracy of Justin Fields on display here. And really, in real life, it's uh, really on display. But uh, we're going to go off tackle with Herbert. And he doesn't get hardly anything, so that's going to leave us in a third and long, and we're going to have to do a short pass. Pass. 
or hope for a penalty. I'm going to have to complete a short pass or hope for a penalty. I'm going to go short to Mooney. Oh, he gets sacked immediately. What is that all about? Yeah, of course it was Parsons. All right, we're going to have to punt. Not punting from too bad a position only because of our return, our kick return to open the half. And he's going to catch it and stop right there at the 15-yard line. So that's going to be first and 10 for Dallas at their 15. I'm going to look for the run. They got a lead now, so they should be running the ball more. And they do run, and we do stop them pretty quickly there. Um, Two-yard gain. I'm going to look for the run again. No, this time they're passing. And it's incomplete. We knocked it down. Nice. Well, now I am definitely going to look for the pass because I think that's definitely what they're going to be doing. And they are. And they catch the ball, it looks like. <clears throat> yeah, for 13 yards and a first down. So they're going to keep the chains moving here. 12 or 11.58 left in the third quarter. I'm going to look for the pass. And they are passing again, and it's incomplete. I'm just call it a hunch. I'm going to go look for the pass again. And he is passing. And to the running back. And uh, we can't, well, we do stop him, but again, right before the first down marker. So they've only got a third and one coming up. And I'm going to look for the run. I'm going to look for the run and key on Elliott, but for all the good that's going to do us. Because he is passing. So it really needs to be incomplete, and it isn't. So they get a nice 12-yard uh, gain out of that. Pass out of the backfield to Elliott. Uh, I'm going to look for the run. And he is running. And we don't stop him very quickly, and not quickly at all. Not until he gets 13 or 17 yards. Wow, man. Yeah, they're now they're just, now we're seeing the, the Dallas superiority starting to come through. I'm going to look for the pass. I mean, the only thing that's kept it clo this close this long is that we picked Dak off twice. Which is really uncharacteristic for that. Chicago defense too. They got a second and five at our 27. I'm going to look for the run. And they do run the ball, but we still can't really manage to stop him until he gets a first down again for six yards. So uh, they've got a first and 10. At the Chicago 21 with 8.56 left. I'm going to look for the pass. And there's a penalty on the play. Penalties have also been working against them. Dallas has been penalized a lot more than we have in this game. But that one looks like it was on us. So it's going to be a... F well, no, it was on them. It was on them automatic, I guess. And we, and we weren't really given a choice, but we would have taken it anyway. It's first and 15... From the 26, I am going to look for the pass. He is passing. And it's intercepted again! <laughs> and we're going to return it. <laughs> Try to gain some yards. Hell yeah. And we're getting some nice yards. Again, I can't believe it. We've picked Dak off three times. Again, this is really the only reason. 
that they're only winning by a touchdown at 14-7 with 8.37 left in the third quarter. Um, I'm going to go flat pass to the wide receiver, and they're offsides. It looks like Dallas is offside. This is a free play, and I'm going to take the free play. You can bet your ass. We got 16 yards on that bad boy. And I am going to decline the penalty, and we're going to take the play. So Fields today is 7 of 11 for 80 yards on a touchdown. Um, let's go... Uh, let's go end run with Herbert. And he's going to get some three yards, maybe. Yeah. Second and seven at the Dallas 46. Let's go short pass to the second tight end. And he has he's flush from the pocket, and this is where he's great, except he wasn't that great there. He only got three yards. So we got a third and four. Uh, I'm going to go flat to the flanker, Mooney. And is was that a penalty on Dallas? No. So we got a third and nine. Yeah, I'm still going to go flat pass. I'm going to go flat to Montgomery. And he gets some good yards, but he didn't quite get the first down. And they want us to punt. We got a fourth and fourth to Dallas. Yeah, I'm going to punt. Let's see if we can keep this in the field of play. No, it's going to come out to the 20, 25, whatever it's going to come out to. Whatever it is now. Uh, yeah, first and 10 at the 20. Uh, I'm going to look for the pass. And he is passing. And uh, we don't stop it until he gets like seven yards. Okay, second and three. I'm going to look for the run. And there's a penalty, hopefully, on Dallas. Hopefully really hopefully on Dallas, but it might be on us for being offsides. 17-yard run by Tony Pollard. No, it's on them. Well, definitely we're taking. We're going to accept it. So they've got a second and 13, Dallas does now, at their own 17, 545 left in the third quarter. I'm just a hunch. I'm going to, I'm going to say run. No, they, they're passing. And it's incomplete. Nice. So now it's third and 13. I think you definitely... I'm going to um, pass and double team uh, C.D. Lamb. And he is passing. And it looks like it's incomplete. They're going to punt to us. I mean, I expect them to punt to us. And they're going to punt from to us from deep in their own end. Again, their penalties killed them. I'm going to put in the punt return. 5.08 left in the third quarter. We're only down 14-7. Making this much more of a game than you would have expected when a 12-win team plays a 3-win team, which is exactly why it's a mismatch. Monday, people! So um, that was a 47-yard punt and an 8-yard return. We have it first and 10 at the Chicago 44. I'm going to try a long pass. I just got a, a feeling here we're going to go long to Claypool. Good protection on the line. 
And Claypool catches it. Nice. The bomb is caught. And that's going to really um, help um, the stats for uh, for um, Fields. He is 9 of 13 today, 116 yards and one touchdown passing. This is actually a very good game for him. And we, you know what? At the end, stick around at the end because not only am I going to look at the standings, but we're going to look at the... Uh, at the stats so far on the year. I'm going to go flat to Herbert. And that is going to be wide open for Herbert. Man, off he goes. And they stop him at the two. So a 23-yard pickup there. And again, now Fields is 10 of 14, 139 yards and a touchdown. We're going to go off tackle with Montgomery. And he's going to have a touchdown and we tie the game if we get this extra point, which I certainly expect we will. With only 352 left or 333 left in the third quarter. Uh, 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 offsides. Some, maybe us, but anyway, hopefully it was them. I mean, who knows, right? Accept the penalty, and it's a Chicago ball on the Dallas 10. Accept Chicago. There is, uh, accept the penalty on the kickoff. Okay, on the pe accept the penalty... Chicago ball on the Dallas 10 extra point attempt um, or accept the ball on, on the uh, kickoff. I'm going to take it on the kickoff. So it's 14 all. I mean, I guess we could have tried to go for like the two point conversion or something there, but I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm going to look for the... I'm going to look for the pass. I think the, the computer's going to start to panic here. And he does. And he's going to pass. And it's incomplete. This is, I got to say, this is the, potentially the real life Dak Prescott and the real life what Dallas would have done. Um, I'm going to look for the pass again. And he does run the ball. Let's see if we can stop him. We do. We stopped him pretty quickly there. He only got three yards, so they've got a third and seven. And I am going to uh, pass and double team Lamb again. And he is passing. And uh, I don't know who caught that. Hopefully it wasn't Lamb. No, it was Dalton Schultz, their tight end. He made the reception. He got the first down. So it is first and 10 for Dallas at their 38. Uh, two minutes left in the third quarter in a tie game, 14 all. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for the run. And they pass, and we, catch, we, we uh, stop him right at the point of the reception, so it's only three yards. No yards after the catch on that bad boy. Second and seven, we're, I'm going to go balanced. I'm going to put in the balanced. He runs the ball, and we don't stop him. So, Ezekiel Elliott on that gets 18 yards running out of the ball. A couple of bad calls by me so far um, in this game. But, Dallas is usual ineptitude against bad teams has kept this game really close. Uh, but that was a big pickup. There's 23 yards on that one. <clears throat> Dallas has a first and 10 at our 18. I am going to look for the run. There is a penalty. I wonder if that's on them. It's an incomplete pass, though, too. I'm going to accept it. Got to back him up. 
So um, I'm going to look for the run. Sec first and 20 at the 28. And we stop them quickly, too. I mean, not that we could stop a field goal probably from here. Um, I'm gonna, now I'm going to look for the pass. Got a second and 20 from our 28. He runs the ball, but we do stop him after three or four yards. Six yards. <laughs> Bad at estimating that. But anyway. But it's going to be third and 14 at the Chicago 22. Definitely looking for the pass. And he is going to pass. And he does, but he doesn't get the first down, so I expect him to kick the field goal here. And we're into the fourth quarter, too. Getting late. Um, I'm going to put in kick block. But we don't block it, so he's got a 17-14 lead. Dallas does. And, uh, yeah, they're kicking off. Twelve fifty nine left in the game. And we're down 17-14. I'm going to go draw play with Fields to start it out. And he only gets a yard or two. No, he gets nothing. He doesn't even get a, a yard. All right, let's go look in pass to the split end clay pool. Clay pool. And he catches it for a first down and a little more, so that's nice. Keeps the chains moving. I'm going to go short. I'm going to go short pass to Mooney. He's been pretty good passing today. And it's going to be complete for a first down. All right, so we got a first and ten right at midfield. Let's go... Who do we have out there? We have Herbert. Let's go off tackle with Herbert. I don't think they were ready for that. He got like six yards there. Yep. So Herbert today has got six rushes for 13 yards. Not really all that great, but there he kept the uh, chains moving. We're going to go flat to the wide receiver. And it looks like a first down to me, people. First down, eight yards. And we're, you know what? We're only losing by a field goal. If we could get a touchdown here, we take the lead. And we might leave him with not quite enough time. I'm going to go looking, uh, looking past to the flanker. And it is a first down. And Fields today is 14 of 18, 182 yards and a touchdown. Really good day for Fields. Um, <clears throat> let's, let's see. I'm going to go off tackle with Montgomery. That was a nice gain. So we got a field goal. I think we've got a field goal to, you know, tie the game here, but there's a five yard pickup. You want to keep, ideally, you want to get the touchdown and you want to keep some time moving off the clock. 8.45 left in the game. Second and five for us at the Dallas 21. Uh, I'm going to go line buck with Fields. And he gets the first down. Nice.
let's try the short pass. That's been pretty good for us today. Short pass to Claypool. Oh, they're going to sack him. God, really did not need that. Seven-yard loss on that. Well, I'm going to go off tackle with Montgomery. I just want to get closer. And maybe trick Dallas. Didn't work, but we did get a little closer. Um, we got a four-yard pickup there. So now it's third and 13. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to go draw play with fields. I want to make sure I get this field goal. I don't want to get knocked out of... Um, range. Ooh, ooh, that was a nice run, but it still didn't get the first down. But at least we have a, we got the field, we got the tying field goal. I mean, you know, you don't want to, ideally you don't want to play for a tie, but when you're playing a team that's vastly better, to be in this kind of a game with them is really good. So that's going to be good, and we're going to tie the game. Got a chance. We've got a chance here. And I'm going to kick off. 17-17. Six minutes left in the game. But he got a really great return on that. I'm going to look for the pass. I think he's going to start to panic here. And he does pass, but he gets the first down for 11 yards. What was it? 11, yeah. And I'm going to look for the pass again. 528 left. And he catches the ball. This time we stop him right there. Four-yard gain. We played a really inspired game today, man. I'll tell you that. Um, I'm going to look for the pass. And they are going to get some serious yards off of that. Maybe even a touchdown. No, not a touchdown, but they are now they're definitely in field goal range and uh, and could even get the touchdown. If they get a touchdown, there's I don't think we're winning this game. If they get a field goal, we'll see. If we can, you know, come back and at least tie it. Uh, I'm looking for the pass. I mean, unless we pick off deck again, which would be incredible. Um, seventeen, seventeen. They got a second and five from our twelve. I'm looking for the run. No, they're passing. Oh, it's incomplete, though. All right, I'm looking for the pass here. For sure. He does pass, and he catches it right at the first down marker. They needed five, they got five. So I'm looking for the run now. Now we need some big mistake, a couple of penalties or a fumble or something. That was incomplete. I'm going to look for the run or another pickoff. <laughs> Dak is back. And he passes it into the end zone for what is probably going to be the winning touchdown. But we will see. We'll see what we can do. Fields has been good at passing this game. I'm going to put in the kick defense. And they, sh they do go up 24-17. And we're going to receive the kickoff. There's only 208 left, though. 
And we're going to do the stupid stuff where we run out of bounds every time we catch the ball. So that's going to hurt. Uh, let's go short pass to the flanker Mooney. And that's incomplete. Two-minute warning right here, and let's go short pass to the wide receiver. And that's incomplete. See, he's throwing the ball to the out of you know to the sidelines, trying to stop the clock, which is going to probably probably hurts his. Um, well, we got to go short again, short to Claypool. Maybe short to commit. Let's go short to commit. And now he tries to run the ball and he gets nothing. Well, I know this is not how I'm supposed to play the game, um, but I'm going to punt the ball to make the... to make the uh, game look better. Oh, wait a minute. Fourth and twelve. No, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm punting the ball. Yeah. See, I mean, even the game knows. The game knows. I really should be trying to um, go for it, but I'm not going to. We weren't going to realistically make it. And I'm gonna look for the run. He should run the ball. And he does. He gets three yards on that. And he made me take a timeout, which I didn't really want to do. There is a penalty. He runs the ball. But it was probably it was on us, so I'm going to go balanced. He's got a second and two at his own 38. And first and ten at his 43. I'm going to look for the pass. Yeah, it looks like that was victory formation. Uh, run. It's, again, victory formation. One second left. Safety blitz. All right, well, we lost the game, but, you know... Game over. And we will look at the box score first, and then we'll look at where we are. Fields was twenty was 14 of 20, 182 yards, a touchdown. Prescott was 25 of 38, 266 yards, three touchdowns, three interceptions. Montgomery had nine rushes for 40 yards. Fields had eight rushes for 17 Herbert had 6 for 13. Elliott had 15 rushes for 68 yards. Tony Pollard had 11 rushes for 121 yards. Prescott had 4 rushes for 4 yards. Again, I'll let you look at the receiving stats for a second. And we will get out of that. Game over. And then we're going to look at the standings. Let's look at the divisions. And you can see we are two and six, 250 points for, or wait a minute, no, 250 winning percentage, 147 points for, 205 against. Actually, is probably better than we really should be. So here's what we are in the year. Um, Fields is 102 for 188 um, passing. 
1,217 yards for a 54.3 completion percentage. Five touchdowns, five interceptions. Semyon is four of eight for 22 yards. And um, Peterman is two for five passing. Fields has 93 rushes for 473 yards and five touchdowns. Montgomery has 83 rushes for 395 yards and four touchdowns. Khalil Herbert has 54 rushes for 253 yards and two touchdowns. Here are the receivers. Komet has 23 receptions, leads the uh, team in receptions with uh, 229 yards. Uh, Mooney has 20 receptions for 231 yards and a touchdown. Dante uh, Pettis has 17 receptions for 224 yards and 31 uh, was the long on his, and he has two touchdowns. So that's where we are. Um, bottom of the division, which is where we actually were anyway, um, with uh, Detroit at 5-2 and two and Green Bay at 5-2. and two. And that's going to be it for me. Signing off from Mismatch Monday, Bob Zolke, Sportsman Z. Talk to you later.